San Francisco to add 61 electric taxis to its fleet, Siemens to build 70 electric trains for Amtrak, and information about the soon to be released Logitech solar powered keyboard. This is your daily energy report. Daily Energy Report for Tuesday, November the 2nd. I'm Ben Lack and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector today. Leading off, there may be heated fights involving solar power in Proposition 23 in California, but San Francisco won't stop trying to go green. The Bay Area's Metropolitan Transportation Commission has approved a $6.9 million to bring a fleet of electric taxis and four recharging stations to the San Francisco Bay Area. 61 better place taxis will soon hit the streets in an effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Other than green taxi cabs, the MTC has also approved several million dollars for 17 other barrier projects. Grants have been given to support carpooling, public transportation, bicycle sharing, and other alternatives to solo driving. Amtrak has announced plans to add 70 electric locomotives to existing collection of trains by 2019. Siemens will begin constructing the rail cars in their Sacramento, California factory, and the new engines will replace locomotives that have been in use since 1980. The models used will have special features, including a regenerative braking system that allows the engines to store energy into a battery while the train is stopped. In addition, there will be two megawatts of solar cells on each new train's roof, and the changes are going to cost Amtrak, which is a federally owned company, 466 million dollars. Household items are also embracing the shift towards alternative energy. Conventional consumer goods are now available using renewable energy. The newest item lighting retail shelves is Logitech's wireless solar powered keyboard. The keyboard, dubbed the K750, can be charged using the sun or an indoor lamp and then function for up to four months of darkness. The keyboard has a lifetime of about 15 years and is the slimmest model to reach markets. The K750 also comes with a compatible feature with Windows that will allow users to gauge just how much energy the keyboard has left. The product will be available online starting in December. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day and congratulations to the San Francisco Giants on winning the World Series.